Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on my channel, Meg's Movies. If you are new to this channel, this is basically where I talk to you guys about my passion for movies. This goes from collections, hauls, reviews, and to today's video, so let's just get straight into it. Okay, and we are currently on the 1st of July, which basically means it's time for the June Blu-ray haul. Um, what I will say is, <laughs> I brought quite a lot, and let's just say, I think think if I counted right I brought about 64 films this month which is the most I think I've ever brought um, so this will be a very big haul so I can't wait to show you guys um, I've got a couple of steel books I've got a few 4k's and the rest are on blu-ray so we'll just get straight into it and show you what I brought okay so the first one I picked up in the 2 for 13 was Face Off I love this film Nicolas Cage John Travolta honestly they are very good in this film if you like weird films, if you like crime weird films, I definitely recommend this film. Or even if you like John Travolta or Nicolas Cage, I definitely recommend this one. And to go with the 2 for 13 on this offer, I picked up Underworld Blood Wars for the simple fact of I have got the first four. I think there's only five. I don't know why I said first four. <laughs> I've, got the, I've got the main four, but that didn't come with the fifth one. To be honest, I didn't even know there was a fifth one. <laughs> So I thought, why not pick that up in the 2 for 13, which meant I only got it for like £7 each, which is not bad. So I can't wait to watch this myself and watch the other two, un other two Underworld films I haven't seen. Okay, and the next two I'll show are my steelbooks. So the first one I'll show you is one I forgot to unbox, I do apologise, but it is the new release of Deadpool. Um, reason why I didn't unbox it is because when I opened it, I saw a dent on the top and I was just debating whether or not I wanted to send it back or if I wanted to keep it. But to be honest, it's such a small dent, nothing else is wrong with the case, so I decided I'm just going to keep it. But yeah, so this was what came out last month, so Deadpool 2 is coming out on Steelbook as well. I do want to pre-order that, but I'm not sure when I'm going to do it. But there's the front and there's the back. Is it going to focus? Maybe if I get out of shot. <laughs> but, um, so I'll show you the inside. So I did only pick up the Blu-ray, I thought I'd picked up the 4K and the Blu-ray, but there you go. But either way, I'm glad I have Deadpool and Steelbook, especially since I just love this bag, it's just so dramatic. Okay, and this next one I have done an unboxing for, I did just post it, so I will put a link in the description down below for you to go check that out if you want to see my first sort of reactions for it. And that is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Steelbook. I've been wanting to get all my favourite films on Steelbook, I saw this on cheap on Amazon, I thought why not pick it up. So I won't show you too much, I'll just show you the back because I unbox it on another video, so if you just go and watch that. So yes, my still book collection is growing slowly, so I want to start by collecting my favourite films first, then maybe picking up some others. Okay, and the next one will go into the 4K, so I'll start with these ones. Uh, so this one I picked up was Grease, I can't wait to watch this in the 4K image. I reckon this will look good, especially with Sandy and Danny in the film. Such a good film. If you like if you like musicals, I definitely recommend this film. But yeah, I can't wait to see it in the new beautiful image. Uh, I picked it up with Hook, because I think it was like 2 for 30, I think, for 4Ks in HMV. Um, I can't wait to watch this one either. I love the case for this. Oh, I forgot to show you the back of Grease. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, there's the front and there's the back. I believe the case is just... Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> But yeah, so I can't wait to watch this one either. I do want to get all the Peter Pan films that I'm aware of on Blu-ray because I would sort of like to watch them all because I think there's only one or two I haven't seen. And then to go with that purchase, uh, it was 9 99 so I thought, why not? Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, the, ultim yeah, the ultimate edition. I don't have this one on Blu-ray, so I thought I'd pick this up on 4K. I might pick the Blu-ray Blu up separately so I can sort of like have the collection there, but... I thought this might look quite good in 4K. Now the next two, these were on offer on Amazon. Um, so I thought why not pick them up because it was supposed to be 24 99 but I got them for 11 99 And that is Aladdin. So I want to start collecting the Disney 4Ks, both Pixar and the main Disney lot. So I saw this and I thought that was fairly cheap, brand new. So I was like, I'll have that. And I can't wait to watch these animated films on 4K. And then to go with another order, I also picked up The Lion King on 4K. Mm. I started watching The Lion King 4K on my dad's TV. 
looked amazing so I was like I have to get that if it's ever on offer and it was but um yeah there's some other main ones that have come out so far things like Mulan and Moana and I think Princess and the Frog I'm not 100% sure but I do want to get all the Disney films on 4k so now we'll go into my massive piles of blu-rays so I have three piles I did one of animation and then the rest are all live action but because it would have been too tall and it would have wobbled so kept them separate so I thought why not start with my animated series so I picked up on Amazon yeah Amazon Monsters University so if you're not aware if you're new to this channel I am trying to collect the slip covers for all these I think I'm just missing Cars 1, Cars 2, Brave and Toy Story 4 in this style so I will collect those at some point but I saw this with a slip cover and it actually came with the slip so I love these cases I believe this is number yeah, number 14 in the series so can't wait to finish that collection off but this one annoyed me, so I ordered these two together. One came a slip, one came with a slip, one came without. I will say I'm glad it, I'm glad the Monsters University came with a slip, but this was advertised on Amazon with a slip and it didn't. Home on the range. Now the reason why I'm annoyed is because most of the films I own for Disney have all got these nice little slip covers on them. If I show you one, so like that. So they've got these really nice shiny slip covers. That's what I was expecting, but I didn't get it. But anyway, this is Home on the Range. This is one of my favourite Disney movies. It's, I feel like it's a very weird Disney movie, but I must admit, I enjoy it. So, whether or not I'll just try and find the slip cover separately, or whether I'll just maybe sell this one at CEX and then buy one with the slip cover in store. I'm beginning to think I might have to be better off if I want slip covers for things to get it off, like in HMV, because it seems to be better that way. And uh, next one I picked up was only for $5.99. It was cheap. That is Iron Giant on Blu-ray. I, to be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of this film growing up. But then re-watching it the other day with my sister because I thought I wanted to pick it up on Blu-ray. I just loved it. So, turns out, movie tastes can change. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I saw this case and I thought it was a really cool slipcover. And there's more like this, I believe. So I might pick some more of these slip covers up. I'm obsessed with slip covers. What can I say? Uh, next one, I was quite shocked it came this way because the way it was advertised, it was going to be one case with both films. But then it came out like my other box sets for Disney. It came out like this. Yeah. So on Amazon, as advertised as one case, both films in one. No, it came like this. So this is what I mean. Amazon surprises me. So obviously they come in two separate cases. So this is Peter throwing it on the floor. So this is Peter Pan and Peter Pan Return to Neverland. Like I said, I was trying to collect all the Disney films on Blu-ray because I can't afford the big box thing at the moment. I might pick the big box thing up when I can actually afford it in the future. But for now, say these nice little slip covers, I probably will keep these as well. And I like it coming in like a box like this instead because it matches with my other ones it was like this one I thought this was going to come like the like I said before in two films in one case but no came like that so very happy I keep going back to that shelf I shouldn't and uh, next one I picked up was Despicable Me 1, 2 and 3 like I said I am trying to upgrade all my DVDs to Blu-ray so I've currently got rid of all the ones I have on Blu-ray um, so yeah I picked this up off Amazon yeah I think it was like £10, which I thought weren't too bad. So you've got Despicable Me, Despicable Me 2, and Despicable Me 3. So I just need to get Minions on Blu-ray, and then I'll have all the Despicable Me films. Uh, this next one is a childhood favourite of mine. I loved this film growing up, and that is Anastasia. Uh, I believe this came out in the 90s anyway. Yeah, it came out in 1997, so I would have been... I would have been two. But I remember watching this film growing up and I really enjoyed it and I was quite surprised I found it on Blu-ray. Because it's like the Swan Princess, I didn't think I'd find that on Blu-ray, but I did. But yeah, I found this on the cheap, so I thought why not pick that up. Next one is Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. In my other haul, which I'll put at the end of this video, I did pick up Cloudy, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2 because it was in CEX. So I saw this on Amazon for about £3. So I thought why not complete it? Uh, next one is The Hunchback of Notre Dame. 
I don't know whether the second one's on Blu-ray. I don't think it is, because every time I try and look for it, I don't see it. So unless I'm typing it in wrong. But yeah, this comes with a nice slip, so this is what I wanted Home home and the Range to come in, but it didn't. But there you go, such is life. Uh, next one is Ice Age 5 Collision Course. I have the other four? Yeah, I have the other four in a small box set. Um, so I just needed to get number five. A little bit annoyed that it's kind of sort of like... Where is it? So this is how it's going to look on my shelf. So I've got that and then I've got that separate. So I'm hoping maybe at some point... See, see how weird that is? I don't like that. <laughs> but hopefully at some point they will release another box set like this. But we'll have number five in it. But £3 for Ice Age Collision Course, I thought, why not? Okay, and the last one in the animated pile... Well, it's animated and live action, so... Bit of both. <laughs> is the Tom and Jerry movie. Um, I did do a review for this, to so go and check that out. But, yeah. I thought, why not pick this up, because... So if you go watch my review for it, you'll understand. But overall, I was like, it's a new release. Okay, and that was basically my animated Blu-rays. So now we're on to my main pile. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but we'll find out. Uh, so we'll do it as... We'll do it left to right. So basically the first one on here is Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. I saw this in CEX for, I think it was like pounds, so I thought, why not pick it up? I do like this musical. Such a weird musical, but I love Johnny Depp. I love Hannah Bonacarta in this film. Quite surprised that they're singing as well. In a good way. But yeah, I thought, why not pick this up to add to my musical collection? And uh, next one I found... eBay? Amazon? No, I'm percent sure. Night in the Museum, the three movie collection. So this has one, two, and three in it. I've been wanting to get these on very for a while, especially since my first one, the disc is kind of scratched. So I felt like I needed to get the whole set, so I got a nice little small case for it. Now this one, I on the thing it said it was $1.99 instead of $7.99, which I thought was fairly cheap for HMV. But when the lady scanned it at the checkout thing, she said it's coming up as $7.99, but she gave it to me as $1.99 because that's what it said on the label. And that is Mirror Mirror. I've been wanting to get this one on Blu-ray. I feel like this is very underrated. Then I suppose a lot of the films I like I feel is underrated. But yeah, I'm so glad I was able to pick this up for $1.99. A brand new Blu-ray for $1.99. Normally you'd get that in CEX. Nope, HMV, $1.99. So chuffed I got it that cheap. Uh, next one is Life, starring Ryan Reynolds and Rebecca Ferguson and Jake Gyllenhaal. I picked this up in CEX with another one. Um, I mean, I'm going to review this at some point in the future for makes many reviews. I like Ryan Reynolds, so who knows? I might like this film. Uh, next one is Kong Skull Island. I have not seen any of these films. I've not seen Godzilla. I've not got seen, seen Godzilla vs. Kong. Haven't seen is it Godzilla, King of the Monsters. So I thought, why not pick this one up, especially with the slip. Like, look how shiny that slip is. Love it. That's like one of my favourite slips, I think. Uh, next one um, was Night and Day. I remember getting this for Christmas and really enjoying this, so I can't wait to see it on Blu-ray as well. And this is the extended cut, so can't wait to see what the new footage is. Next two I'll do together. So, first one I have in my hand is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. I picked this up... No, actually, I ordered it online. Sorry, I tell a lie. I ordered this online because I picked up Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters in Poundland. So as soon as I picked that up, I thought, why not pick up the first one as well? I got it in CEX online because I had a £40 voucher, so I used £20 in store and £20 on the site. So at least I've got both of those now. And next two I'll do together as well. I should have really organised this bit, but there you go. Uh, next one is Ted and Ted 2. I also found Ted 2 in CEX shop because the label's still on there. But I ordered this off Amazon because I had quite a few vouchers for Amazon I could use, so I decided why not pick these two up because I do like these films. Uh, next one, I do have on 4K, but I decided I want to pick up the Blu-ray because I saw it in the shop and I thought it was a really nice slipcover. The Hitman's Bodyguard. I'm telling you, I have a problem with buying slipcovers. I love them. So seeing a cover like this, I was like, I have to have it. But yeah, I love this film. I have seen the second one. I will be posting a review for it some point this month. Not sure when, but I can't wait to tell you guys about it. Okay, so the next one is Now You See Me. 
Um, I do need to pick up the second one at some point, I'm not sure when, but I saw this in, I think it was, in, uh, I went to Norwich for the day to do some shopping, I went to CEX and I found this, and I thought, a pound, why not pick it up? And the next one I got for 4 pounds because it was one of those H&V ones where it's like 4 pounds or 9 pounds with any purchase, and that is A Quiet Place, I do mean to watch this before I watch the second one, when I watch the second one I don't know, but I will get round to it. Next one is Man of Steel. This is one of the three DC movies I'm missing. Yeah, so I'm missing this. I was missing this, but I've now got it. Um, I need Batman v Superman on just Blu-ray, not 4K. And I also need to get Shazam as well at some point. So I saw this in the local CEX shop and I thought, why not pick it up? Because I want to finish my DC collection. Uh, next one is Bad Teacher. Um, I ordered this off Amazon. I want to say Amazon. This is a really good film. Cameron Diaz is so good in this film. She's so funny. So the whole film is funny and so weird at the same time. I like weird funny films. <laughs> Speaking of weird and funny, Norbert. I did not think I could get Norbert on Blu-ray, but at the same time I didn't think there was a lot of films I could get on Blu-ray, so I'm always shocked. <laughs> but no, I do like this film. It's so funny. If you like Eddie Murphy, if you like Night Professor, you'll definitely like this. And uh, next two I'll do together. Where's the other one? Now, this is the only issue with ordering from CEX online is that you can't see how damaged the case could be. So it could have a scratch on it, could have a dent on it, it could sort of like the picture could be funny. So I picked up Fantastic Four and Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. Now I'll show you this one because this one is in good condition. I actually really enjoy these films. I know a lot of people didn't, but I did. But going on, I hate to say it, Fantastic Four, look at that, the case is all, that's not the case, it's more the plastic, the plastic has got mask, marks on it, it's all dented, it's all rough, like, honestly, the picture is very, it's basically like it's been stored and used as like a coffee holder, you can't really see it, stop making some effects, I don't know if you can see the creases, but yeah, I wasn't best pleased with that, so... I think I might try and find Fantastic Four Silver Surfer brand new at some point. Not sure when, but I will have a look. Okay, so on to the final pile. So this one I picked up is The Incredible Hulk. This is to go with my Marvel collection because this was the only one I was missing. Yeah, this is the only one from Marvel I was missing. So I thought, why not pick it up on the cheap? Especially since I wasn't a really huge fan of that film. It was good, just not as good as I thought it was going to be. Uh, next one is another one I didn't think you can get on Blu-ray, and that is What Happens in Vegas. Another Cameron Diaz film, another funny film. Another one I think that's underrated, because I think I just found this on the TV one day, and I was just like, oh, I quite enjoy this. So I decided to pick it up myself. Uh, next one is After Truth, even though this is a German import? I think it's a German import from eBay. But in the UK it's called After We Collided. I love this film in the cinema. I got the first one on Blu-ray from Germany, so I thought, why not get this one as well? So I now can't wait for the other two films, I think. I think there's two more. <laughs> uh, next one is Holmes and Watson. I watched this a few, sort of like, God, like, actually I think it was last year I watched this. I can't remember. But it was so funny. I got recommended to watch it and I watched it with them and... I will admit, I really enjoyed it, so I thought, why not pick it up? Uh, this next one is one I haven't seen, and one I will be reviewing, and that is A Few Good Men. I saw bits and pieces when I was staying over somewhere, and I thought it was actually quite good from what I saw, so I was like, why not pick it up and watch it all? And I do know this is from, you can handle the truth! I know that's from that, so can't wait to see that. Uh, next one is Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, so this is the first one, and The Cradle of Life. I was quite surprised because I tried to find this on Amazon and I couldn't see it, so unless I was blind. But I found this on CEA, so I thought, oh, why not pick it up? This is another one that I didn't think you could get on Blu-ray, but found out you could. Stuart Little 1 and 2. Thank you, CEX, for being a haven of movies where you can find absolutely anything. <laughs> so, yeah, this is one of my favourite films growing up as a kid. Apparently, I'm going to tell an embarrassing story now. Apparently during the scene where Snowball, uh, Snowball, Snowball, um, accidentally eats Stuart, apparently when I was little I cried my eyes out because I thought he killed Stuart. 
And ever since then, my family like to say that every time I watch this film. So if they see it on, they go, oh, you cried in that scene. And I'm like, okay, yeah, let's get over it. <laughs> but I still love it anyway. Uh, next one is Charlie's Angels, the 2019, yeah, 2019 remake. Surprisingly, I actually quite enjoyed it, but I will be doing an original versus remake for this set at some point this month. So do check that out if you want to find out which one's my absolute favourite. Another one I didn't think you can get on Blu-ray, and that is Abduction. I actually quite like this film. It's Taylor Lautner, I think. I think this was back when he was still in Twilight, and I was obsessed with him in Twilight. So I think my mum picked it up for me for my birthday. I'd never seen it. Really enjoyed it, and I haven't watched it since, actually. So I do need to give this another rewatch. Uh, next one I picked up is a two-box set, and that is for Daddy's Home. So this has one and two in it. So, like I said, I am trying to upgrade all my DVDs to Blu-ray. Well, these are the ones I can anyway. So, I thought, why not pick that up? Especially since that was only £5. So, I was like, I'll have that. And that was on Amazon, that was the deal. Uh, this one I got from HMV, and that is The Night Professor 1 and 2. I love the first one. Second one's alright. But, I thought I'd pick these up brand new, because Night Professor is one of my favourite Eddie Murphy films. And I thought, why not pick the two box set up instead of just the one? Okay, next one is The Voices. This is such a really random film for Brian Reynolds. But I loved it. And I got my, I think it was my mum and my sister. Or just my mum, not 100% sure. But they laughed and enjoyed this film as well. So, hence why I picked it up on Blu-ray. Next one is another recent release. I think this is the only other recent release I've got. And that is Zack Snyder's Justice League. I will be keeping the other Justice League because I like to have sort of like a set. I'm a completionist, basically. If I've got one missing from the set, I have to get the others, even if I don't like them. So, but yeah, I really enjoyed this and I love the gloss on this. You see the glosses on the characters. It's amazing. I love it. And uh, next one is one I had to order off eBay because it's not out in the UK yet, but I managed to get it so it's region free. I, can't, I think it's an American release, but I think I'm able to watch it because it's region free. And that is the Austin Powers trilogy. I saw that um, Big Paulie had got sent this, and I was just like, I need Austin Powers on Blu-ray because Austin Powers is my absolute favourite movie. Well, favourite Mike Myers movie anyway. And then I saw on eBay that this one said it was region free. I did test it out, and it is region free. So, yay, I can watch my favourite Austin Powers movies on Blu-ray. I need to act normal. <laughs> Uh, so we're down to the final two, so this next one is Cirque de Freak, The Vampire's Assistant. If you don't know me, I love my vampire films, I love my werewolf films, I love my supernatural films. Anything supernatural wise I enjoy, and I enjoyed this film. Never read the book though, so I don't know if the book's any good. <laughs> I'm not much of a book reader, I'm more of a movie watcher. And to round it off, I picked this up for six quid off Amazon. I've been wanting to get this on Blu-ray for a while, because it is one of my favourite musicals, and that is... The Phantom of the Opera. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I wanted to pick this up because I cried. I loved this film and I loved the music and singing. I didn't know Jared Butler could sing. What the hell? That was a shock and a half. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I did buy quite a lot this month. I have a problem. Uh, so hence, um, basically, I will be trying my absolute best not to be buying any Blu-rays this month because I have been getting very low on money the past couple of months. Mainly due to the fact of every time I see a Blu-ray I want to get it. <laughs> but also some other things as well, some bills and stuff like that. So I've said to myself that as of the 1st until the, I think it's the 31st of this month, I'm not to spend any more money unless absolutely necessary. So there might be a very small haul next month, I'm not 100% sure. Because I know I'm getting... Last Action Hero Steelbook, when that comes out finally. Um, the Mummy 4K as well, I pre-ordered that as well. So that's coming out as, this month. I think it's, yeah, it should be delivered this Friday. Aside from that, I don't think I've pre-ordered anything else. Oh, and Space Jam and 4K. So they're the only ones I pre-ordered last month with my money. So when I got paid, I was like, nope, no more spending. So unfortunately, that might be the only Blu-rays I have. But at the end of the day, at least I had a massive one this month. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. If you liked what you saw and you want to check out my other hauls or you want to see what else I've got, do 
do hit that subscribe button and leave me in the comments down below what movies you picked up this month if there's any in here that you like that I picked up that you weren't aware of because I like hearing your guys opinions about movies and I love talking to you guys about movies so I look forward to you guys enjoying this video I hope you did enjoy this video if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one